I saw them from my vantage point converging upon us from all directions. Someone filmed this girl crying, she's being arrested. It was ugly. It was absolutely fucking ugly. They ripped people apart through the links, but they were brutalizing people. I saw them beat up a lot of people that were saying, Al, you're hurting me, I'm not hurting you, what are you doing? I heard their cries and I saw them. Did they grab you when you were your arms and you were your side? The one on my left, my, the one on my right went, the one on my left went, my arms went around my cat in the bag, and I said, I have my baby with me. They looked at me and said, what well, baby? I said, my cat is in this bag. I'm not letting go of the bag. I said, you have your cat with you? I said, yes, this is our home. We've been living here. My cat is with me. I'm not letting him go. So they dragged me up with him, two cops, and one actually escorted me out of the park. Yeah, the Lord is on my side. But I was asking him, as he was escorting me, why would you align yourself with something like this? Why would you converge upon this, this like we're at war and do this? What's your motivation for it? He's like, look, I'm just following orders. And I said, that's bullshit. There's a time when a man decides to follow orders and should, and there's a time when he needs to step up and ask his own character what's right. Tell him about the protesters that chained their neck. They were the last, I was the last one in there that wasn't chained. They started out at six, and at the last minute became 10, voluntarily locking themselves in the net, literally risking their lives to save our home. And I saw them tear it down all around us. They cut down trees. They sliced up our tarp. They just broke up all our shit for no reason at all. There was no reason for them to do this. They were just as screwed as the rest of us. They just haven't been smart enough to accept it yet because they were too busy following orders.